Well, it's I, Bishop Stan, for Fish Battle 2024. Fish Sandwich Battle. And I'm holding right here the Jack in the Box Fish Sandwich. It's got a panko kind of a crust. It's actually noticeably a lot less heavy than the Burger King one. But the Burger King one was kind of a disappointment. You got to really tell them extra tartar sauce. And you got to tell Burger King to cook it well done. I got one that was just gummy and undercooked. But the other one, the spicy one, was terrific. Watch the previous one. Here it is. This is, right here, ah, you can see the fish sandwich. I told them extra tartar sauce. Just got a panko crust on the outside. Let's see if I can peel some of this away. All right, they gave me a good slather. It's not loaded, it doesn't have tomatoes or anything on there, but it does have lettuce and no pickles. Disappointingly, I like some pickles, but maybe the tartar sauce picks it all up. It's 350, which actually makes it a pretty good deal. It's one of the best deals out there, but the best, it's only a good deal if it tastes great. And if it doesn't taste great, then who cares if it's free? Some of these sandwiches I wouldn't want to eat again, even for free. Now, uh, last year, I would say that this was about mid, it was in the mid of the brackets for Battle 2023. Let's recap. Okay, now we're back to the sandwich. And here it is. Well, the beginning of the biggest sandwich starts with the first bite. Well, so far I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. I couldn't find much information on it online. So I don't know if it's Pollock. It's almost definitely not Cod. Cod is too expensive right now. A lot of these guys are using Pollock, but Pollock is pretty good. So let's take a look at the inside of this. There we go. It's got a nice soft bun. The bun is nice and warm. It's uh, softer. It may not be the same as the Jumbo Jack bun. The Jumbo Jack bun's a little firmer. Um, the extra tartar sauce was exactly what it needed. Add a lot of flavor. And the fish, um, the big fish patty that they have in there, um, I have to say this is pretty good. It is nice and firm. So it's almost like you're biting into a burger. I'm gonna go for another bite. Oh, forgot to pray. Well, Lord, we give you thanks for this food and our time together, and may you uh, bless it and cause us to be a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, there we go. You gotta always give thanks to God. I have to say, so far, I like this sandwich, and I definitely would eat it again. The thing that would actually push this up into the A, um, up into the straight A's, would be if they made their own custom tartar sauce, the same way that Wendy's did last year, and the same way that um, Popeye's did. But I gotta say, so far this is the top of the heap. So, um, especially for 350, you know, the price is right. It's not gonna be as big as the other ones are. And it's definitely not as big as the uh, the Burger King sandwiches. And maybe part of the problem for Burger King is that their um, that their piece of fish is maybe a little too big. But um, on the two sandwiches that I ordered, the one for them that was the spicy one, I think that was the first one they cooked, and they cooked it for a while, and it was actually was pretty good. So. That might be fine over there if you want to try that sandwich, if you tell them to cook it uh, well done and to put extra stuff on there. But this is a Jack in the Box review and this is actually pretty good. And I definitely would eat it again. And especially for only 350. So I would say it's a pretty good deal. So I'm going to give it a A minus. I have rendered the, jur the, the verdict. A minus. I am the judge, but you are the jury. Have you tried this? Do you have an opinion of it? Um, 
Did you uh, have a different experience that I did? Go ahead and leave a comment below. Well, God bless everybody, and remember to stay godly.